In this video, we're going to go over comments and assignment operators in PHP. Now, if this is your first experience in coding, comments are basically ignored by PHP. They will not be read. They will basically be ignored. So you can see here, everything in green are comments. Now, there are two types of comments. One is you can do a single line comment, and you accomplish that through two forward slashes. So you can see, once PHP hits this, everything is green from that point on. All of this will not be used in terms of the script. And you can see here, I just put a comment that says this is a variable, which of course it is. So these are really notes to yourself or other developers. Now, you can also do multi-line comments, and that's what I've got right here. Now, a multi-comment line kicks off with a forward slash followed by a wildcard. And then you end it by putting the wildcard first and then another forward slash. And so everything here, again, will be a multi-line comment. Okay, that's all that really needs to be said about comments. Now let's talk about assignment operators. The most basic assignment operator is the equal sign, which we used in previous videos. And all that basically does is assign this value to our variable here on the left. So the value on the right gets assigned to the variable on the left. It's that simple. And of course we know a variable in PHP starts with the dollar sign. Now you can see right here, we're just echoing this variable out and we'll get 25. We're not gonna run this, but that's what you would get. You'd get 25. Now, what if we wanted to add 10 to this? This is where we can use other assignment operators. We can use this plus equals right here, and this will add 10 to our variable. Now the key here is it doesn't replace our value on the left. 25 will stay 25. It just adds 10 to the value. So again, you're not replacing the original value, you're just adding 10 onto it. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this in here. And we'll just put that line of code right here. And so if this works correctly, which it should, our new value now is 35. So first, we assigned a value of 25. Then we came down here and said, hey, add 10 to the current value, which is 25, and that gets us 35. And again, a shorthand way of doing this is to use the plus equals assignment operator. Now we could do the longhand version of this, which is right here. You could just take the variable, which equals 25, and add 10 to it. So that's the longhand way. This is the shorthand way. So it's faster to program this way, but if you prefer the completely written out method, you can do that too. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we'll click on our link over here, and we get the expected result, which we wanted, which is 35. Now, as you see down here, we can also subtract 10. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just switch this to minus. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page, and now we get 15. And here you can see is the longhand version of this. You would get the same result. Again, this assignment operator is just a faster way to code. Now, we don't need to go through the division assignment operator, but I think you get the idea of how this works. Now, just as you can add a value to a numeric variable with the plus equals or the minus equals or the division equals operators, you can append one string to another using the concatenation assignment operator, which is right here. So we can go ahead and append one string to another string. And so let's do that. Let's actually take all of this code here and just copy and paste this up here. And of course, we now need to echo out our string variable. So let's put that here. And then let's go ahead and save this. And let's refresh our page. And I forgot the semicolons. That will cause all kinds of problems. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. And there you can see these two strings are now concatenated. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.